Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Well, I want to say Merry Christmas to you. We're getting ready. We are preparing for Christmas, and because we're preparing for Christmas, I wanted to talk about 15 prophecies that were given in the, in the Old Testament that relate to the birth of Jesus. Okay? So, um, today's prophecy, you can see I'm dressed, well, I'm in my Christmas uh, background here, and I'm uh, proud to be an American. Okay, this applies to today. Today's prophecy is this. All nations shall be blessed through Abraham. You're like, oh, what, what's that got to do with being American? All nations shall be blessed through Abraham. Let me read Genesis 18, 17 through 18. It says this. Then the Lord said, Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation, and all nations on earth will be blessed through him. Okay, all nations on earth will be blessed through him. The thing is, um, you go around to the different nations today, the blessing comes because they know God, they know Jesus. Okay, it's not because they, they are, are Jewish. Okay, there's Jewish people all over the world, but it's not because of the, the Jews there. It is because of their relationship with Jesus. Okay, and that is from a seed of Abraham. Okay. Um, also, Genesis 12, 3 talks about this. Genesis 22, 18 talks about it. Genesis 26, 4 talks about it. And Genesis 28, 14. All talk about this, this same prophecy. And the prophecy is, all nations shall be blessed through Abraham. Let's talk about the New Testament fulfillment of that. In Acts verse, uh, chapter 3, verse 25 and 26, it says this. He said to Abraham, through your offspring, all people on earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to bless you. Okay? All, it, it just said that right there. All nations on earth will be blessed. Okay? He's going back to what was prophesied in the Old Testament. And you'll see a lot of the stuff in the New Testament, it quotes the Old Testament in those things. Galatians 3.16 says this. The promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. Scripture does not say, and to seeds, plural, meaning many people, but to your seed, meaning one person who is Christ. Okay? So, again, it's not because of the Jewish people around the world that um, they're blessed. It's because of Jesus being known around the world. That's how the nations are blessed. Okay, and that's the 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 second uh, prophecy uh, that we're talking about today. So, as we if we want to be blessed, the bottom line is if we want to be blessed as a nation, we need to be uh, trusting in Jesus. <laughs> Where we start to go um, into the hole is when we tr start trusting in our godless self and in other things, and tr and uh, get rid of Jesus. Uh, that w that's when we're in trouble, and that's the way the country is headed right now. So. Uh, keep on praying uh, for this United States and whatever country you're living in. Uh, we got uh, people watching from all over the world in Africa, um, India, all all, play, all kinds of places. So uh, the bottom line is you as a nation, we as a people need to be trusting in Jesus. Okay. So again, let me go over that last uh, that last prophecy is all nations shall be blessed through Abraham. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue talking about these 15 prophecies regarding the birth of Jesus. Lord's blessing. We'll see you then.